Oh, good morning, everybody. I let you into a little secret. It's actually gone lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, I got in pretty late today. I didn't have any transport. Gemma took the car. I thought I'll ask Stuart to give me a lift in with the van. He put the van in for an MOT before he had a chance to come and get me, so. You know what? I stopped at home, fucked about on YouTube for a bit, which I had to do because the dick of yesterday's vlog up. And he released it at 360p. That's no good. So I had to delete the whole videos and re-upload it, and then it wouldn't let me do it because it was a duplicate, so I had to rename it. Oh, I couldn't be bothered. But in the end, we got it up. And then I must say, I did have a little bit of a giggle at Theresa May's cabinet. Self-exploding, imploding, what's the word? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's move on to more things relevant for the vlog today. A couple of uh, issues with one of Gemma's favourite hand tools. Yes, the old Russell Hobbs here. She loves it dearly. You can see there's a little bit of my face imprinted onto the side of it there. And uh, apparently it's packed up. Yeah, it's quit. So I'm going to take it to pieces. I'm going to probe it. And uh, probe. I'm going to probe it and see if we can't rectify the situation. I'm sure it's just a loose wire or something like that. So we'll have that. And we'll have this. Test in there. We'll pop that iron in there. And we'll have a look. Nine amps. Two watts. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It bloody works. I don't know what the problem was, it works, look. It's starting to steam. Well, nine amps so it pulled, eh? That's not bad going, is it? So I'll we'll wrap that back up and put it back in the car. What's the problem, James? Well, after that job's complete, which wasn't very difficult, uh, I need to make some signs for the pub so people know where the lavatories are. So, I've got plenty of these offcuts of ash which we used to make the tables. So what I'm going to do today, just to give me some filler basically for the vlog, is we're going to make a print using this. Maybe bolt it to the wall like that and it'll say toilets. Or like that, toilets, that way. And we're going to put some type of uh, image on there. We're going to use the inkjet printer, sand this nice and flat, and see if we can't transfer it onto here. Hopefully it'll look tip top. Is there any wonder I can't get anything done? Edward? Edward? Look what he's doing to me. Hey. At this time, it's not even half three yet. Hey, steady on. Kids are still at school. Right, anyway, we're going to put a sign on this block of wood. This is what I've decided it's going to go on to. This is what we're going to put the image on. It's already been planed and sanded, so let's go and print the image off. Right, so we've got the image in the graphics program and basically what I've done is flipped it and then I've put the backing of some Avery label stickers into the printer. So all we're going to do is just show where it says print and we're just going to print it off like that and hopefully this will come out backwards on the paper and we can use it as a transfer and transfer it onto the uh, onto the timber as it is. It's probably still a little bit on the small side. Oh, 
Oh yes. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Oh no. Don't disturb me now. You come for the key? Hi. Struggling to do any jobs today <laughs> and get a vlog at the same time. Right. Toilet sign, me duck. So. It is, just it. So, what I'm going to do is just put a bit of tape on it. Let's see if I can do this. And yeah, if we have it on the wall like that, kind of have to be more like that, I think. It's pointing downhill. I could probably just chop an edge out, I don't know. What do you reckon? Kind of centered up. If it's centered. Center it. You reckon that'll do it? Yeah. Centre it. That's not square, is it? That's it. Le big reveal. Fucking nailed it, baby! Spot on, <laughs> I can't believe how good it's come out. That's superb, that. Yes. That is the uh, thumbnail right there. So it kind of worked. I'm pretty chuffed with that. I think we'll buy one of them. So all I need to do, it doesn't even need trimming down, does it? It just, it sort of fits. That's it. So I'm going to put some holes in it, or maybe some brackets on the back, to bolt it to the wall somewhere. And we'll go and have that mounted in the brew shed. So, holes first. No, I'm going to put brackets on it. I think what? some metal brackets will look better. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Yeah. Right, <laughs> like that this has got varnish in it. Oh, it has. Right. There might be a brush behind you on that drill. Oh, well, let's have a go. Like what the councils do when they put perspex over a Banksy. <laughs> See if it brings this red out. Uh, not too much. can you folks so uh, yeah half a day today and before you know it it's half past six I'm gonna go home I feel like I've made a small achievement we've got a sign for the ladies toilets which I think looks pretty freaking sweet and a, uh, a sign for the gents which is equally freaking awesome I'm dead chuffed just pulled these images off the internet, nothing special about them. Then of course, we have the uh, the big one telling you where to go to the toilets. So at least we've had a bit of an achievement today. 
and it's not been uh, unfruitful. Is that the right word? The trouble with these is they're a little bit on the thick side so if I hang them on those shitty doors that we've got I think they're gonna get knocked off myself so I might have to do something uh, about that but then it also loses a bit of the character doesn't it we'll see anyway I might be able to change the doors believe it or not I've got two doors up there that was brought to me by somebody and uh, they're quite meaty they're probably too good to go on the wall I think they might be too big though that's the only problem uh, but fail that I'll just trim these down I'm hoping to get one or two of these up in the pub tomorrow but let's not forget Tom's gonna be with us tomorrow so whilst today's vlog is short and sweet uh, tomorrow's will be quite an episode uh, we had no uh, manifold for the compressor turn up so we are probably gonna have to hit them out and swap out the old compressor uh, so we can use the plasma cutter which is worrying it's a shame if it comes tomorrow I'll be able to put this together in the next in the first half hour whether it's gonna be airtight or not again uh, anyway a lot pressing on my mind with very little time left of the day so I'm gonna wrap it up oh it's a short one hey sometimes we're dealt short sticks in life I know I was you just gotta live with it I'm gonna bugger off home folks and we'll see you tomorrow for a fantastic it will be a fantastic episode of the vlog filled with humor and uh, humor and more humor and Destroying Tom's pots. <laughs>